it's your friendly, nosy neighbors, Jessica Cardin. And Elise Pell. With the Murdoch Man Wearing Company here for another edition. We're almost in our final editions of our iconic business month. I can't I believe know. it. I know, and we've seen some really cool some iconic Some really businesses. cool iconics. And I can tell you, I've loved them all, but this one is near and dear to my heart. So oh. I am so excited to talk today yeah. about this. I can't By wait to way, hear why. I know. It's a very exciting story. Cool. You know that I can tell stories forever. <laughs> so just so you know, if you love local businesses like we love local businesses, make sure to like and follow our page so you can keep up on all of this stuff. We've got some great ones coming up in September too. Oh yeah, that's going to really be really cool. fun. Well, it seems like we have. I say that every time because every business seems exciting they are. to They're me. They're all fun. They're it's so fun, fun to learn about business. So like and follow our page, and we sell real estate. So <laughs> if you're looking to keep in the know about real estate, head over to the Murdoch Man Wearing Company page and like and follow there. And if you need to buy or sell, give us a call. All right, today we are downtown again. It seems like a lot of our iconic businesses are downtown because this is True. the history. And I love that so many of them have been stayed yes. around all this, all these years. Yes, because this is this is the foundational original, part, the original Idaho part. Falls. Yeah. So we are downtown on. We are actually off of Broadway, mm -hmm. but we're entering in the back entrance of. Chesbro, Chesbro Music, Music Company. <laughs> now this is a really cool place and I'm sure anyone who's from Idle Falls knows Chesbro, mm -hmm. right? But if you're new to the area, you may not know this local gem and the amazing stuff that it does that comes out of this little shop. True. So let's go in and check out uh, Chesbro. Let's go see. <laughs> I've been coming here since probably I was a baby. So Oh, wow. I love it. Look at these. This is some, I love their setup of this amazing, all the history. This really tells a story over here. Yeah, really And you can amazing. tell right by this that it is iconic. They have yeah. been around for Forever. over a hundred years. This. I love Very that. Cool. Established in 1897. Oh, and we've caught the janitor right <laughs> here at the beginning of, right up at the <laughs> We had a, was that my fault? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It generally is in that idea. I don't think so, but we had a little mess. Had a little, had a little accident in this. Well, I love these pictures. I love this. I love, oh, back in the Model T, I think Mr. Chesbro delivered some pianos with a Model T, if I remember right. Oh, that's and it cool was, yeah, cool story. really awesome. I love that they've got some older, like, pricing. Look oh, at this. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Pricey. Oh, I love this one. This is, that is awesome. I love that picture. But Some this. sheet music for 35 cents over here. 35. <laughs> one of those Thank you. Teton guitars. Yeah, and some records. These are vinyls. We're talking about a dollar. Lots of the, the current in the day. I love that. Yeah, albums. Look at this. I think of, I, this is what I think of when I think of school music right this was your first introduction mm -hmm. to school music mm -hmm. right here yep well this mr little janitor tambourine. <laughs> we're the nosy neighbors hey, can we ask some questions about uh, chesbro music sure so tell us who you are so i'm chris i'm the retail sales manager fantastic yeah so uh are you the best person to ask all the questions um you can ask all the questions you want and Excellent. if i don't know the answer i'll find somebody who You'll does find somebody who does yeah. all right well i see someone looming in the background should we invite? I think somebody wants to be in the video. I mean, it's not very often we find someone that wants to just see, like, can I be in this video? <laughs> Tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Jenny Lee. I'm the fifth generation Chesbro. A uh, fifth generation. Fifth Chesbro. Ge generation Chesbro. Yeah. How long ago since it, you, you've had Chesbro as your last name? Uh, as the family's Never. last name? Are you daughter to daughter? Daughter to daughter. Daughter to, to daughter. daughter to daughter. Yeah. Is there any Chesbro? Left. Are there, yeah, are there Chesbros left? Lingering in uh, very small amounts gotcha. lingering around the country, but <laughs> as I far love as the name goes, the store is still in the family, though. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's so you're, really it's cool. To... You're fifth generation. All right, let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty, you guys. Sure. What is Chesbros Music? It's so, Chesbro Music Company instead of Chesbro. Chesbro. Some people love saying Chesbro, but it's Chesbro <laughs> I do, I Music. I say Chesbro all the time. It's Chesbro. Okay. Chesbro yes. Music all Company. All right. Yeah. Thanks for correcting that. Don't I didn't worry. Yeah. So tell us what it is. So essentially what we do is we have several facets to the business. We have our retail store, which we'll show you a little bit of. Um, we're the largest music store in the area. 
And um, we also have a full wholesale department where we wholesale supplies and things to other music stores all over the nation. Really? And then we have our own guitar line, which we'll talk about to you later, that we build and we supply to other stores in the nation. Wow. We have a full um, internet store that people can buy stuff from and we do a lot of online business as well so there's a lot of stuff that goes on here i don't think people really understand so oh, it's kind of fun because it's just this little shop and it i is. don't follow yeah. so you're not just local you're probably supplying like all over the nation with your online we business. are okay. and with our wholesale yeah. Yeah. when you say wholesale what are you wholesaling so a lot of the accessories and things that you see like guitar picks and strings and and that kind of thing we wholesale from this location to other stores all over the nation and we have a, we just purchased another distribution company in Indianapolis that takes care of that side of the country and then we take care of this side of the country so we're wow. distributing stuff everywhere that which a lot of people amazing. don't really know it's kind of that's cool. a huge business it that's is it's deal. fun it's yeah. a big deal it's okay so who it. is the customer of Chesbro is it only distributors who would come in to the store and into the Idle Ball store just yeah. Uh, anybody from a fifth grader just wanting to start a violin to someone who has been playing their whole life 60 years and wants to get back into it because COVID, you know, gives them time to spare That's or right. um, needs to start it back up because they need time. They have time and they want to play and enjoy themselves again. <laughs> so is it mainly selling instruments? Mainly instruments and accessories. Mm -hmm. um, and we carry everything. I mean, there really isn't much that a person would want in a musical instrument that we couldn't provide in some fashion or another. We have had some people come in and ask us for, for some really off the wall stuff, which we don't have. Yeah. But uh, mo for the most part, we have a, a selection of just about everything. So I've had kids that are piano students and they need If you don't some... know, Elise teaches piano lesson. No. <laughs> <laughs> My own children have <laughs> taken piano from other people, but they always have some curriculum they, they're needing, some books. Do you supply those kinds of things? Sure, you know, let me show you. Okay. Okay, wait, before we show, I just want to get in. If they want more information, let's tell how they get a hold of you, what's the website, Okay. so they know that right up front. Sure, so they can call us at 208-522-8691. That will get them to this building, or they can go on our new website at chesboroughretail.com, mm -hmm. and that has a listing of everything that we carry. Um, so they can find what they're looking for there, or they can come on into the store and we'll show them where stuff is. Are you guys doing social media, or is the website best? Uh, the website's probably best, but they can find us on Facebook as well, and we also have a Twitter account that we use, and uh, Instagram, and all that kind of stuff. Perfect. So, all right. Yeah. Let's see it. So you're all easy right. to find. We are easy to find. Perfect. Um, Basically, you just have to Google Chesbro and you'll find us. You'll find us. If you put an S on it, you probably won't. <laughs> you <laughs> Once will. again, I love this. You this, will. this is a, this is a. Look so I bought. We learned to play the piano, and we played Suzuki, which was ridiculous. Right. Bless your heart, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined me for my whole life because I don't know how to play the piano now. Is but we came in and I remember the the violins. Yes. Because Suzuki is mainly a violin type, and I remember all of these. And I, I think I've seen a little teeny kid play that little. Oh, I love that. Isn't that it fun? It is the cutest thing. thing. Yep. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, and that just shows you that we do cater to every I shape mean, and size. Um, that that's, shape, that's really size, a great way age. To see. Yes. This, this is the one from uh, Mannheim, not Mannheim Seymourlers. Piano What's the guys? other one? Piano guys. Piano there guys. you go. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Love that. Love that. They awesome. did make the cello popular, right? Yes. They made Very a lot of popular. Yes. <laughs> and and Lindsey Sterling, right? Yes. Who, yes. With the Who knew the rock and roll uh, violin yes. could exist? Well, and those violins over there remind me of Lindsey Sterling. Yes. Yes. If you didn't know, you could be cool and they, play the violin. They've both That's come right. to Idle Falls. So it was very awesome. <gasps> yes. <laughs> so and I imagine cool. they, they came to Chesbro if they, I mean, if they, I mean, everyone knows. Obviously, they did. Yeah. So these, All right, I'm already distracted, these you books guys. look familiar. I feel like my kids probably use oh, some there of you are. this. Yes, the most these popular piano, piano methods. Okay. okay. Yeah. I imagine Suzuki's not there. So if you have a piano student that. and you're needing to go pick <laughs> up their books, it. this is yeah. the place to get them. <laughs> it's okay. It is. And another thing people yeah. don't realize is that we wholesale music to music stores all over the country as oh well. So God. we have a huge warehouse on the second floor that is stocked with all of this stuff and we oh ship my. out to stores everywhere. That's oh, wow. amazing. So you probably have all the, 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 like the 
block English suites and the French suites and the everything. Oh, yeah. kind of hard to find. See, now yeah. Tommy's going to kick him because also <laughs> that's his background too is the music. We all see. He, yeah. Yeah. you guys got him excited. He I doesn't know. normally. He chime doesn't in. normally pipe up. Look so at him. piano <laughs> rentals available. What? Someone could rent a. Piano you could rent a piano and yes. it right into their home. Yep. Okay. Oh my That's goodness. cool. Yeah, That's pretty cool. much like I said, pretty much anything need, somebody needs in a music in yeah. instrument, we do a rental purchase right. uh, program That's on. That's cool. So and especially if you don't know if your child or or yourself will enjoy that. Well, if anyone's kind of ever tried to have a child play an instrument, <laughs> year one does pretty well because <laughs> it's exciting. Year two, it starts to get a little tougher. Year three is the crunch, right? Right. right. That is the drop Do they love dead it year. Or you hate have it. a fun teacher and fun, play fun stuff. And, and your parents methods. have to be committed at yes. that point, right? Because right. you're going to have to force them through. Oh, what a parents, practice. There are mutes that you can buy, mutes for <gasps> violins or whatever that's not quite as squeaky. Is. That's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. I have one of these that we inherited from. So Tommy's mom was a piano teacher. And a fine arts teacher in Texas, and we have one of these on our piano. Floor. What is that? Metronome. It is a metronome. metronome. Yeah. The okay. piano student's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody's worst nightmare. I'm Rhythm sure is the hardest device. thing to teach. Yeah, it's a torture is, device. Yeah. See, am I distracted? I don't remember where we started going, but we're following uh, you, Chris. Well, you know, we can. Let's okay, go upstairs go first. Right. Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. So also, pianos have come a long ways. They have. With Good the whole them. idea of, of the headphones, the yes. piano. Yep. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? You can be in a small apartment and just put your headphones on and go rock out. And rock out. And you can now record inside of your piano. These yes. digital pianos are amazing. Yes. And they even now feel. They, keyboards didn't used to feel like a piano. Weighted keys. But the weighted keys. Oh, look at this. They really do. That's, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. Love that. All right, I'm not going to tell my story yet because we're going. But I have a story. You have a story. I okay. have a story. A banjo a story. and a mandolin. Good job. Right? You got it. Just I, this stairway does remind me of the iconic Idaho Falls business. Yep, it does. I remember going up, I don't know when you guys were modeled, but I remember coming upstairs, and it's a young memory with my grandmother. Oh. Getting up the stairs, I remember walking in, I can just barely remember, and us happened to go up the stairs to the music upstairs. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and this whole area used to be full of sheet music. Yes, it was just racks. Racks of and racks of sheet music. music. So we've opened this up now. Wow. See, I haven't been here since that time. This feels like a studio. Yeah, so this is a recital hall. Oh, really? And oh, wow. many people have just realized that the, the local school districts, District 91, District 93, are not starting sixth graders this year in music. Oh. Is that right? And so they always start them in fifth or sixth grade, either with orchestra mm -hmm. or band, and they're not doing that this year. So we've actually started our own school of music, and we're going to be having students up here six days a week. <gasps> Um, so cool. We're not charging the students anything for the lessons. We're going to figure out ways to pay the teachers through donations and things of that nature. But and the rental of the equipment. The maybe. rental of equipment they'll have to pay for, which okay. they would do in school anyway. Oh yeah. But they'll be able to come here and have their lessons three days a week, just like they would if they were going to school. That's and we're going to get the kids started, so when they're ready to go into seventh grade, they've got a basis of understanding of their mm -hmm. instruments. Well, it is so, Im I mean, of course, I don't want to stand on a soapbox about music <laughs> programs in school, but it is so important, and I don't know if, as many people know, the benefits of development, even of athletics. Now, we're an athletic family. People don't know us for our music, more for athletics. Sure. <laughs> but we really credit that to starting piano at five. Yeah. And all of us playing one to two instruments our whole lives. Mm -hmm. The memorization, timing in athletics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the the rhythm. There is there is an athletic balance benefit to learning music. an instrument at a young age. Absolutely. And the discipline alone. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially with the music. Like, if you learn how to play the piano, you're going to absolutely be better at math. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's music right. makes you better in and music that's been proven time and, time and again. It is. Yeah, and we just don't want to see the music programs in the area suffer. I yeah. mean, the teachers yeah. are pulling their hair out because they need to start those kids early. Yeah. Not just to get them going, but because kids will find other things to do they if will. they don't they get will. into music mm -hmm. early. They'll find other areas of interest, and so they'll move away from music, and we'll just see all of those kids just kind of dissipate to other areas. How do they find so. out more, Chris? How do they find out about this program and get signed up? It's pretty easy. All they do is go to our website. Um, there's a go to the lessons button and click on that. There's an enrollment form. They can also find out more information by just giving us a call. We're happy to share with them what we're doing. And so this is for fifth graders and sixth graders. Fifth and sixth graders in District 91 and 93 to start. 
Homeschoolers who are being homeschooled oh, okay. are also uh, able to do this. So what about online school, if they're electing for online school? If they're school? doing online school, it really doesn't matter. If they're in those districts and they're a school-age student at sixth, fifth or sixth grade, then we want them to come and participate. And they, they just come in the store and check out the different instruments to see what they may be interested in starting? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's yep. awesome. Yep, we can help so them with all that. I, my question is, do they, is, that is that a piano lesson? Because I remember instruments, and that's all the, you know, the orchestral instruments. Mm -hmm. But does piano sure. include in that? Are yeah. piano lessons part, could they get them into piano? Piano, piano guitar, guitar, ukulele. Um, we're pretty much offering oh, everything. I love the ukulele. Yeah. So it's, it's really where the student's interest lies. I know yeah. a lot of the, the school music programs don't offer piano right. no. and they don't offer some of the other stuff but we do and yeah. we have That's facility neat. here to be able to handle oh, awesome. kids coming here and then we've got some other thoughts if we overgrow our facility here with social distancing and mm -hmm. trying to keep kids apart then we have some other options we can go to to, to still help with the kids. That would be so. cool if you do overgrow it. I love that yeah. thought. It's with getting you. close yeah. actually. Well, and with COVID there's just I can so just many see it. changes. Chesbro but... Music School. <laughs> yes. I'm, yeah right. with all the changes I'm so glad that you're accommodating and, and making some additions to, to so help important. with that. We're trying to. Yeah. Good. We just think it's so important. It is. Yes. Super important. It's, so. it's, it's something it will become if we don't take if we don't take care of it it will become a lost thing and what yes. a terrible thing that would be. Then yep. there's no one playing in high yeah. school, there's That's no right. one playing in the Idol Ball Symphony. Yeah. It's a problem. It is a problem. Yeah. Mike, yeah. I, always, I always wanted to take singing lessons, so I'm a singer. That's always what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I was forced, parents, this has to happen sometimes, <laughs> I was forced to take piano because my grandmother said, anybody can sing, but not everyone can play the piano. <laughs> So there I was. There you were sitting <laughs> there. Sitting. I may or may not have slept at the piano a couple times, <laughs> yeah. resisting. It takes that. It takes that. It's That's why I asked. Prepare. Yeah. This is awesome. So this is where those lessons are going to be. Yes. Yeah. So the classes will be held here for the most part. And then, like I said, if we outgrow the, the space here, then we have some other options to put kids in and, and uh, you know, just keep them going. That's our big thing. Well, this is continuing a legacy. So Jenny Lee, mm -hmm. I'd love to hear the story. So the, you are fifth generation. Right. So tell us should how we, this all, yes. Should we go to the piano then? <gasps> since it's yes. here. Yes. This is what my piano, our piano and piano Move looks like. Move all this crown. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous piano. So best we can tell, this is an original Chesbro piano. We didn't know they existed till a few years ago. Wow. So where did you get this and one then? So a late, we got a letter from North Pole, Alaska. Aww. There's a place called North really? Pole, Alaska. <laughs> yeah, and it said, um, and it said, we have a Chesbro piano. We found you online. What would you like to do with it? And my mom and aunt didn't even know there was such a thing oh as a Chesbro goodness. piano. Um, Beautiful. The brand itself. Look at that. H and H. Chesbro, the um, the most I can find out was it's probably about 1890 to 1900 wow. serial number, but I still haven't found another one. Wow! So this is this this is prior even to your generations. Yes, this Chesbro started in Seattle, mm -hmm. and they had a storefront there for 10 years or so. And then they had a herd of opportunities in Idaho, rural Idaho. So the great great grandfather moved to um, St. Anthony actually for a few years. And then moved to Idle Falls. I'm not sure why actually. <laughs> <laughs> Winter. Bigger market. Winter. I'm not sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> more schools, more kids to help here. Yeah. So they moved to Idle Falls and then this building, half of this building was started, the middle half. Um, was started in 1911 and then 1960s we bought the what was the bank on the other side and made it all one building so in 1911 is the this this is still the building yes that yes. you went to in 1911 on yes. Broadway of Idaho Falls yes. there's some pictures over there but yeah that is amazing. all original uh, not, um, that is a mostly original beautiful. ivory keys and it's got the Chesbro here I was gonna say that it's even gorgeous. you guys have kept the same so logo is. for a hundred years yeah well, it's changed a little bit oh here and goodness, there but it's beautiful that is a gorgeous piano it's fun. 
Were you forced to play piano all growing up? Yes. <laughs> Did you ever have to sleep at the and piano? The uh, I don't remember sleeping on the piano, no. <laughs> May have a lady. Yes. I was a little Can't bit hard headed. I was a little bit hard headed. Well, in you're that probably idea. so grateful now that yes. you were you were forced to play piano, but now do you keep up with it? Not really. Oh, you don't. It's no. all. A it's terrible. That's what happens? To my all my father and me we say uh, when we're asked what we play, we say we play the radio. That's right. There you <laughs> go. We enjoy it without doing it. Sorry. So in this, terrible. How did you? Did you always know you were going to continue on? I want to no. go over and look at these. Did you always know no. you'd continue into this business, or did you think? No. Not till I was I don't know mid twenties did I know the statute of Chesbro said. Family has to run it. Blood has it's to run it. It's basically like royalty. It. So, so you don't get out that. of it. No. That's the way. That, look at that. That's amazing. So did you guys build the building? Or did Maybe. you? Okay. Mm -hmm. I always wondered that. It was existing. Okay. It was existing. Oh, look at that. Because this yeah. is the old the old way. Yeah, 60s, 70s. And then they, they, they redid the front. 60s, 70s, what can yeah. I say? Yeah. But this is, that is beautiful. And there used to be a lot of windows. And, yeah. And during, I don't know, Russian invasion, I don't know, they oh. ported them up, I'm not sure. A Russian invasion. Did we have a Russian invasion, <laughs> no, Jenny I mean, Lee, that I know, forgot? The I'm just Cold kidding. War. It's really Look at this, right inside the store, 1925. Amazing. That's So, me. who is this? So, that's my grandma, Joan Chesbro, in the middle. Left is Tana Stone, my mom, and Vanetta, who passed a few years ago. And uh, Joan Chesbro was really, she was, she was amazing. She's a rock. And uh, serious, they would call her fem feminist at that time. Well, really? this time, there wasn't a word for it really back then. But she was a serious leader in women's business. She was, she uh, skipped two grades and then went to uh, women's school, Stevens, and one of the first women at Stanford. And then um, she really, Chesbro's is what it is today because of her. Yes, her grandfather started it. Chesbro is Joan Chesbro. <laughs> um, that is so she, she, she made it worldwide. She made it national. She built a bunch of, um, instrument lines, the Tom and the CMC and everything, and she did the distribution around the United States. That, that was all her. That's awesome. <laughs> I do love some good woman power. Yep. <laughs> woman power through and through. I'm a man wearing, and, then, and that's what we're all yeah. about, so. And then she had two daughters, so she didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> that is the way. Well, so I you, love that you're doing her proud and carrying yeah, on that yeah. legacy. So in this, so you are running the show? No, Tana's running the show. Tana's running the Tana no, is running are the Are they? Show. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> so in this, do you guys have plans to keep, I mean, do you guys yeah. want to do more? Sure. We want to make Teton national and international. Um, we've got a licensed and registered in other countries and we're distributing in other countries now and um, we want to make Teton our brand name and All right, let's talk about Teton. What are we talking about? You want to show us? Yeah, what it is. Downstairs All right. Do you want to do the, oh, whatever. I don't know. Second floor stuff. Do you want to? Yeah, there's there, another floor upstairs. Is there anything we want to, else is. we want to cover down here? Up here. The, do you want to go to the book warehouse? Yeah, we can. Oh, yes. We can go to the music library. warehouse. Right. I'll take you in any direction. I'll give Before you off we go track all the time. time. <laughs> we can cut that. <laughs> Without the Tommy here, we'd be off in the weeds half the time. <laughs> So, this, this, this is here's, what I remember. Here's this, the warehouse. Look at this. And this. Hi. Oh, look at this. <gasps> yeah. So it just. Wow. It really this is just the Chesbro sweatshop. It is. Yes. <laughs> no. I mean. Uh, this, this is where this is where we have young people making T-shirts. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Stitching things in the background. No, wow. No, no, You've got not, quite the selection here. Really where do we have, find all of this? Like, where does it? Where do you lots get? Lots and from? lots of publishers. We oh. have huge boxes here, or uh, coming in uh, truckloads all the time. So, um, we're the largest. The West's largest inventory of print music and have been uh, 
the west of the Mississippi and have been for many, many years. Many years, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so and if it's you, you know this music. You go to Chesbro's website because that's where you're gonna find it. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. it's and really if there's a lot of stuff that we don't have just because the publishers either go direct or they're mm -hmm. you know going through um, Christian bookstores or mm -hmm. you know a lot of, of uh, sacred music goes through specific channels. Then so we wouldn't have that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. boy, just about anything else we have and. This music library used to be huge, but now that there's so much stuff available online and there's so much available for download and stuff mm -hmm. like that, the actual paper required isn't really that much. And so that's why our, our library has kind of shrunk a little bit, but we still have the, the best selection. So anywhere. this is just a portion of what you have had in the past. Oh then. yeah, because oh, yeah. okay. this used to take up the whole floor. Oh, to be wow. the biggest apartment. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, I, so this is where I, my story comes in. So my grandmother wrote music for, it was a music writer, Marie Manring Anderson, and we distributed her music through Chesbro for, since the 40s. Yeah. This is where we bring our music, and this wow. is where it went, and this is where it came out, and yeah. so yeah. Lovely. We, yeah, and most, most stores know to contact us for their sheet music needs right. because they know we're going to have the supplies. Yeah. So, you know, during the shutdown, there were a lot of publishers that were shut down, and there was a lot of other distributors that were shut down, and so we just got inundated with yeah. orders for mm -hmm. people looking for stuff that they couldn't get any place else and so um, we were glad at that time to have the warehouse you know full like we did yeah um, okay. we're still rebuilding because we got depleted pretty <laughs> pretty quickly yeah. with that. so I hear drums going do you guys also have studios yes yeah. we do so someone if they want to come and play and record they can do that here so of it's not really play and record anything, it's not much they're, they're record, teaching studios yeah. so oh. what we have is lessons Ooh. going on in the drum room okay. back here and then we have small studios in here for individual lessons and we have individual private teachers that teach in those spaces and I think we have let's see four five six seven studios teaching studios seven. if yeah. someone's a teacher could they contact you guys for a or are you do you hire the teachers how does that work well yeah if there's teachers out there that need a space to teach in they can mm -hmm. contact us basically mm -hmm. what we do is we just charge a very nominal fee to be able to use the room um, they get on the schedule and then they have their students come here and take lessons so if somebody wanted to record could they bring their recording um, uh, equipment. equipment thank you recording equipment here and record in one of the rooms they could it's probably not quiet enough oh, gotcha. because there's okay. enough noise going on in the Elsewhere. building pretty much all the time but if someone's they, looking for private lessons they could come here you guys have instructors you can set them up with this we is do, where they can start about, if they don't know okay. where to go exactly yeah okay. and we have we have teachers that teach just about everything Great. so Cool. Yeah, if they need to want to learn something, we can teach My them. My husband always wanted to learn to play the French horn. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's fun, something he right? should start. Yes. <laughs> Maybe he needs some private lessons. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. If sixth graders can do it, he if can do it. If sixth graders can do it, Tommy can do it. <laughs> Tommy's a really good French horn player, so I'm just joking. <laughs> this, Maybe. I'm not kidding. There is a lot Christmas of memory sections. right and here. And it's just here it all year. It looks exactly like I remember from uh oh, so it. in june if you want to play christmas music this or get started there it is well you know, i would it's need from there. june to practice exactly. to actually be able to so, do to do it by christmas yeah one okay. finger so do you guys do <laughs> we want to show them the warehouse upstairs as well Ooh. Who up there? mom doesn't like uh oh so no we'll go down mom says no. okay mom so upstairs is where we have says. all of our accessory wholesale so they just have like the music warehouse we just have racks and racks and racks and racks uh -huh of musical accessories uh -huh. that get when you say musical out. accessories yeah so strings. guitar straps and strings uh, and uh, reeds and drumsticks cases. and yeah i mean Everything. just about anything you can think of kazoos and harmonicas and uh, electronic equipment bongos bah, no <laughs> no, no timpanis. No Sorry, a little too big. Timpani. Yeah. Smaller. We got Think one smaller. Think smaller. Think smaller. Timpani. Now we keep one up for just in case. <laughs> <laughs> That's only for when I walk upstairs and then they go. <laughs> there is history in every corner of this place. There is. Huh? Jessica, yeah, and it, you have it is huge. Some, some history here. I, I also have a grandmother that worked in the store. Huh? I want to say probably the 70s and 80s. Really? Nice. She worked in here. Well, yeah. we went yeah. um, we went and visited Teton Steel and we met someone who started working here way back when. That's right. And all that. You know, everyone there's got to be, you know, history. So in this there's So 
this is my history story. Let's hear it. I'll have a million stories. <laughs> so my grandmother's mother in Blackfoot, Teresa Manwaring, she was saving for a piano. She had a piano jar of money. And she was saving it, and she had a pump organ. And a man came selling door-to-door -door pianos out of a horse-drawn wagon. Door-to-door. -door. And he was so nice. She said, I would love a piano, but I only have this much money. And I only have, you know, he said, well, what else have you got? She said, well, I've got this old organ. And he came in and looked at it. He said, all right, I'll take the money. I'll take the organ. And our family got our first upright piano from probably that gentleman right it. there. Yes. That's so cool. Horse-drawn horse. wagon, selling pianos door okay, to door. Okay, so who is that? The founder? Horse. That's Horace. Right yes. there. Look at that. And this would have been in, I mean, my grandmother was a child, so in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? I hope That's that piano crazy. is still in the family. family. Still in the family. Yeah, we love it. It's a huge upright. <laughs> okay. How did they get out Beautiful. of the wagon? I mean, yeah. that's a, the story does not continue on. How did that get into the house? But <laughs> they brought all the farm something close by farmers. Something grab everybody yes. to lift that piano down. This is awesome. This, oh, these are beautiful. Guitars really have become just pieces of art. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Maybe that's they true. always have been, and I just there didn't is know. a couple people through. that phone's ringing off the hook. I don't know where and everybody houses is. Houses that they're um, mocking up and that don't hide. Oh, we sold a house that had six beautiful electric guitars mm -hmm. mounted to the wall in their living room. That's it's fun. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. As long as they have a humidifier if they want to play them. So we were Wait, talking. What, what? Why is that? Because it's dry here in Idaho. And you need, and that's and not good for your guitar? W it's wood. It's a wood instrument. It needs oh. moisture. A little bit of humidity. And it's very yeah. important to keep moisture in for guitars and pianos. Yeah. So what? will that affect the sound or the yes. tone? Okay. Yes. So for pianos and as well. less breakage. Yep. Interesting. Wow. As it leads us to this beautiful instrument. wall of wooden guitars that are just gorgeous. Yeah. So this... Teton is, is our brand, uh, as we were talking before, Ben, who works on the third floor, developed the design of these instruments, what they were going to be made out of, and then we have a factory overseas that builds them for us and ships them back over here in huge containers, and then we distribute these all over the United States and now into other countries. And, Do you uh, have a guitar own? Is that how I, say it? Uh, I do have a guitar on out in the <laughs> other room. You said I told you about anything you could ask for. I'm gonna come up with some more. Or we could we could what? probably is that a brand find. Name? No, guitar on is guitar is, is for a mariachi band. My brother recorded. It's the big. Band. Oh no, oh, kidding. The big oh, guitar. No okay. The guitar yeah, they're they're huge. I'll show you they're when I have one out here. So anyway, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary. Wow, this and, is beautiful. Um, of Teton. And I was trying to find somewhere here, I thought we had, and we may have finally sold it. We had a 10th anniversary model of our guitar. Do you see one, I Jenny do. Lee? I don't see it. I mean, you've got inlaid. I mean, these are, and are these all ukuleles? Yes. Because this is, looks like a big ukulele. Yeah, so that one is, is a baritone. We, d oh, we do baritone. ukuleles, and we do all different kinds of wood tones and things. So like this one has a spruce top, rosewood oh, back and sides. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Um, Beautiful. So we do some really, really nice work. And we are very competitive with some of the top name brands like Taylor and Martin. And, um, you know, we're building some really nice stuff at kind of a fraction of the cost you would get for gorgeous. something Where are these that's a produced? top line. So we actually design and um, have them built in a factory overseas. Uh -huh. We have a small factory over there that does all the building for us. And um, they do just a fantastic well, job. The ukulele has become very posh. Yes. Yes. That kind of came back and fun. It, I've, a lot of girl, I see a lot of young girls with their YouTube videos and their ukulele. What a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. It is. Easily easy portable. Easy to carry around. Uh -huh. You because, go to Hawaii and you can bring it with you. Because if you've ever toted, of, um, I played the cello. Yes. And that is misery. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Easier for little fingers. Yes, too. and, and super cello, fun. They're beautiful. So on this, do you have all styles online? Can they go and find yes. any of this Teton. online? Com. What if they want it custom? Can they say, I want one that's all like this with that in there and this? Can they do that? Because I talk. see a million things that I love. Yeah, we can talk about it. And yeah. then maybe we ha you have the better idea and we can produce it. Wow. Because oh. I love, is this mother of pearl in Mm -hmm. yeah. Holy moly, it's gorgeous. Abalone. Ab oh, abalone. Oh. 
That's Jason. He's I our guitar specialist. Jason, is he at work? <laughs> Thanks for kicking that in, Jason. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Right? That's, uh, that's a good point. That's right. That's right. Gorgeous. Okay, so we've got guitars. Yes. We've got sheet music. Mm -hmm. We got lessons. What are we missing? What else have we got that, that people don't realize in here? Uh, how many hours do we have? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. It's, I love I mean, the, your logo that's on each that one of those. I love yeah, right there. Really pretty. Yeah. What else should we see so that we know the drums? I love what the drums. Chez bro is. Oh, look at this. How fun these are. <laughs> look at these ones. Yeah. Okay. I'm... This is what happens on videos for me. Well, you know, and you're just like every customer that walks in here. You know, it's yeah. kind of like we came in here for a guitar pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, oh right. look at that over there. And then yeah. just wander around and, and just see everything. I mean, really, there isn't anything that you could want musically that we don't have some version of. Okay. So this is basically a destination. This yes, is a must-see exactly. destination in here. This is what I think of also. If you're, I mean, this is stuff you just don't know where you're going to get it from. And here it is. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, everything you guys. Musical. Awesome. This is awesome. Thank you for showing this all to us. Okay, one more time. How do they find out more, especially about the music program for fifth and sixth graders? What do they need to do? So the best way is to go onto our website at chesboroughretail.com. They can click on the lessons button and there'll be an enrollment form there. They can call us if they have additional questions. They can email us uh, through the website. There's lots of different ways they can get a hold of us. And of course, they can just come in and talk to us. We love our customers. They can just come in and say hi, and we'll answer any questions they have. And I want to point out, you guys, this is right on Broadway, but there's a ton of parking around back. Watch, Tony. A ton on of parking around side. back on the yeah. south of the building. Come yep. in the back door. Well, it's not, I mean, I'm in the back door. But really yeah. easy access. Parking yeah. in the back entrance. Super yeah. easy. And this is really fun. Thanks, even if you're even if you're not a musician, this is pretty neat to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fun to wander around. Yes, we have lots of visitors from all over the world that stop here because yeah. they've heard about us. Yeah. So it's pretty fun. Pretty cool. That is yeah. cool. Okay, awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Are you guys Chesbro? Not Chesbros. <laughs> Chesbro Music Company, right here on Broadway in Idaho Falls. Check it out. Check out their website. Super fun. This has been Jessica Carden and Elise Pell. Your nosy neighbors, keeping you in, in the, the know. Show.